what I want to talk to you uh, today is about what's been happening with migration in the United States. If we go back and we look over the last 40 years or so, we've seen a tremendous increase in migration to the United States. In the 1960s, about 5% of the population was born in another country. Today, it's 14%. Why has this happened? A couple of very important reasons. One of them is that what we see is in 1965, we totally changed the law. And we made it so that we increased the number of migrants we allowed in, and we made the most important criterion for being allowed into the country family reunification. The other important factor is people can earn a lot more money in the United States than elsewhere. So we saw a tremendous migration from other nations into the United States, and if we're looking at the Mexican population, into Texas and California. Now, why those two states? There's a very important idea. The idea is social capital. You go where you have friends, you go where you have family, you go where you have townspeople. They tell you, here's where the jobs are. They tell you, here's where La Migra, the immigration service, is hanging out. Don't go there. Here's where the bus routes are. Here's how you enroll your kid into school. So people went to those, uh, those states, California and Texas. But things have been changing in recent years. Two very important things. One, in recent years, the number of immigrants has slowed down. We've made it harder to get into this country. We find out now that given the Border Patrol, given uh, various other things, it's, it's more dangerous, and it now costs about $5,000 to hire a coyote to help you crossing the border. So the number of migrants is staying relatively the same, but their destinations have changed. Let's take a look at this. This is Delaware County in 1990. See that red dot there? Each dot there represents 10 people born in Mexico in Delaware County in 1990. Actually, the number was only four in 1990. By uh, 2000, we see that there were a lot more Mexicans here in Delaware County. By 2010, look what happened. Things have been changing. The destinations have changed. Instead of being in California and Texas, people are moving to the heartland. In Delaware today, one out of every 40 people in Delaware County was born in, uh, in Latin America. In Franklin County with Columbus, it's one out of 20. In some counties in Ohio, it's one out of 10. Why? Why has the migration pattern changed over time? The answer is, once again, social capital. People say, look at my friends and family say, there are jobs in Ohio, not just in agriculture, but in construction, but in restaurants, in services, babysitting. All these jobs have opened up. The education opportunities are better in, uh, in Ohio than they are in Texas and California. Less crime. Housing is much more affordable. Anybody from California? Housing prices are a lot cheaper here in Ohio. So when all is said and done, we see that there is a new pattern of migration. And the question is, is it good or bad? Well, it depends. For whom? For the migrants, it's obviously better. If it wasn't better, they wouldn't be coming here. For the people in the top half of the income distribution, it's really good. Look at this. Wait, it's great. We have more, uh, more choices for restaurants. The cost of labor has gone down. We find out if we want to go to a restaurant, there's a lot of help available. It keeps the prices down. Construction prices are kept down. Babysitting is cheaper because now all of a sudden we have this, this large labor pool. The higher income people are better off. But what if you're an unskilled native-born American? This is a group that actually is worse off. There's more people competing for the jobs. So when we look at this, what do we see? The pattern is that migration increased, it leveled off, and now it's shifted to where it is. Is the country better off or not? When I started college all those many years ago, I knew all the answers. What I've come to realize after I graduated today, I'm just beginning to ask the right questions. So you ask the right questions and figure these things out. Thank you.